The aerospace industry has been through a tremendous amount, especially in the last year and a half with the pandemic hitting. Many industries have gone through similar turmoil and have resorted to digital acceleration to be able to support their transformations. Whilst you may think the aerospace industry is a lagging industry in this domain, at the MRO facility here we've found ways to make all sorts of technology extremely applicable to our industry and to our component repair facility. The impacts of COVID on the aviation industry are significant. The the main driver of a lot of the economics of the industry is based on utilization. That's driving the effect of um, investing in a lot of digital technologies to bring products to market faster. In the MRO side of the business, what we're seeing happening is um, basically the obvious effect of that is to re reduce your cost structure accordingly. But then after that, as we're looking at the industry ramping back up and picking back up, we're seeing companies invest significantly in digital technologies to enable a faster turnaround time, a differentiated customer experience, and uh, just better all around uh, service. The benefits of the RFI technology here in the MRO workplace have been very, very beneficial. What we've managed to do is improve our receiving process so the repair can get into the facility as quickly as possible. Once it's in, we've got better granular views of all of our turnaround time and we can communicate with the customer openly, accurately and transparently. Additionally, we've put smart labels on our tooling. This allows us to track where shared tooling is in the facility and it also allows us to capture a whole series of data around those tools so we can accurately calibrate, reduce downtime and make sure that we meet all of our customer needs. Now, let's go to the stores area and see the RFID technology at work in receiving. Here we are in the receiving area of AJ Walters Technique where we set up a toll gate, which is a set of mounted antennas. Then the customer then set, put stickers onto the units. We pass it along the toll gate, and right away the system captures all of the work order information that we need to process the work order. We just received the unit within the ATMS system, and now Jesus here is gonna show us how he pairs the RFID tag onto the unit. Now it's paired. The unit stays in shipments within the 2 to 24 hours unboxed and stay there for a couple of days, 3 to 5 days, on during the weekends and holidays. This technology really helps the, the customer to, to trace the turnaround time and align with the turnaround time with, with them. Using Bluetooth technology, the system picks up how the units are being tracked within the facility. We do this also on tooling and on chemicals. Hey Andrew, what are you hey. looking for? Looking for a torque wrench. I can't find it anywhere. I searched the whole shop. I can't find the torque wrench. Well, if you use the ATMS system, you could actually write down the tool you're looking for and it'll show you the location within the facility. Yeah, can you show me? Yeah, so you said torque wrench? Yeah. So it says here, it's in the test rig area. area. Let's okay. go have a look. Let's go look. So it says it's right here. Hey, I see it right there. Hey, Greg, can we use the torque wrench? Thank you. That was so easy. That would have taken me forever to I find know. this. Hi, Greg. What are you up to? I'm trying to find my next work order. Well, why don't you start with the one who's been sitting here the longest? Well, which one is it, though? Using the ATMS system, you could actually see the turnaround time of each of these units. So you could see how long they've actually been sitting here. So if I look through here quickly, it seems like this one has been here the longest. It's been here for five days. You should start with that. Sounds great. The biggest pain point would be looking for tooling and streamlined work orders. Normally, I would go look for the tooling, and a lot of times the tooling wouldn't be in its cabinet. So walking around the shop looking for torque wrenches and other tooling specifically for that unit. I have to say the biggest pain point that the technology solved for me is being able to find the tools I'm looking for. Probably on the average work order I save like 
20 to 30 minutes, but uh, you know, it depends. Sometimes I've had situations where I've spent almost an hour looking for a tool and I didn't find it. So if I had an RFID tag on there and the app set up, I'm sure it would take probably like five minutes. Having this RFID technology here at AJW definitely helps us streamline the calibration process. Uh, it allows us to be alerted of each tool that needs to be sent for calibration within 30 days. And the biggest thing of this RFID technology is that it allows us to see inactivity of a particular tool, which then allows us to change the frequency at which we can be sending it to an outside vendor for calibration. The ATMS tool is a, uh, a tool that uses IoT, I IoT uh, RFID and a thin layer of analytics in order to uh, allow for full end-to-end -end chain of custody observability of tracking assets across a warehouse environment. The implementation with uh, our, our customer AJWT uh, ended up uh, being a very, on a very positive note. It was really a collaborative effort between uh, ourselves and the customer, um, really working hand in hand to ensure a successful implementation. Uh, it was two months from the day that we um, shook hands to the day that the implementation was handed over. And this was really uh, a logistical worldwide effort between uh, uh, many teams, uh, software development team and implementation here team here on site that led to this successful conclusion.